Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swish Show. I thought I'd do a QQQ update market watcher today. I did one yesterday. Market actually went to the target yesterday. It was $91. Market closed into the close, rallied into the close, and went two pennies over the exact number of the target. Beautiful move here in the afternoon. I did talk about this in the video that market was setting up like a breakout play. It's exactly what it did. Lifted off here at a perfect time into 145, 2 o'clock, major reversal time. And the market rallied in the close. Never looked back. And this even set up here at 245, 3 o'clock. You could have bought this in here. So beautiful move here. Now, the market today. Today I looked at the gap today in the market and I thought this was bullish. However, I didn't think we'd have some aggressive bullish day. I thought it would be a medium body, but I thought the market would definitely, definitely hold. And then we actually came in red into the beginning period of the day. Let's just go back and look at this here in the one minute. Actually, no, it was yesterday. Hold on, let's go to today. We actually had a red body at one point today in the morning. Okay, here's today. So we actually opened and came in a little bit then this morning and we had a red body. Came up again, retested the high again, held the red body. And I looked at it in the daily chart and I said, hmm, all right, well, I just didn't think the red bar today would go anywhere. But I was like, okay, fine. Neutral then today for the market, but I didn't think the market would have some crazy red bar. I thought it would be medium then or small if it was going to hold the red. But interestingly enough, the market is not holding the red. The market is playing out and is making an attempt now to actually continue and follow through from yesterday. It did make it slightly over yesterday's high up to 91.06 and is trying to hold that. This is extremely, unbelievably, incredibly bullish because the market could have come in a little bit today. And market could have had a medium-sized red body that ain't still been very bullish and it wouldn't have done anything, except for the fact that if the market had traded slightly red today, it would have said we gap down tomorrow. But market is already over the high of yesterday in a little tiny bit, and it's grinding higher. This market is grinding higher. It is continuing, continuing higher. So very difficult for people who don't know how to read this because people want to short this. This was trying to get short in here. People are trying to short this here thinking it's topping out. People are trying to short it. Traders are, but that's not who's making this move. This move is made by the bulls, and the bulls are buying this market, and they're continuing to buy it. So the only thing to do if you really want to do anything at all with this market right now, if you must trade it, which, you know, you could just do something else, uh, is to buy it. Very aggressive to buy it down in here, but you see how the market came into a perfect area of support here. It's the teeniest, weeniest level of support the market could have come into. Market came in this morning, came down, and held right here. I mean, this is pretty perfect. This is the smallest, tiniest, teeniest, weeniest level of support that the market could have hold, held today to actually continue higher, which is actually did hold and lifted the market out over the high from yesterday. High is 91.07. And I'm not saying we have some big green bar today. I'm not saying that at all. But I am saying that right now it's 11.48 and there's four hours left of the day. And the market is holding very bullishly and very, very bullishly. And anything's possible here because the market's bullish. And the market is not done moving higher. And it's going to continue to move higher. And if the market wants to go today, the next target is 91.20, 91.25, 91.50. Dream target really would be 91.50 today for this market if we can get there. Market could come back down again, retest that area, and hold and make an over the high again at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Market continue right here now into 12 o'clock major reversal time higher, over the high again. Our market could come down, retest the low, and break it. But either way, I don't see any uh, large red body forming itself today in the market, which I think a lot of people expected. But the gap today was bullish. It was bullish, OK? So that's why the markets are doing this. Learn how to read gaps and you'll be able to read the trends right. Learn how to read gaps, you'll be able to trade and make money. Learn how to read gaps, you'll know what to do in the day. Buy something, short something, what should I do? And this seems impossible for people to think that this market could hold here today. It was, it was seemed impossible for people to see the market could break out yesterday, but it did. The market is doing what it wants to do, which is go higher. So just let it. Don't trade against the trend in something. It makes no sense, okay? We're going to do a webinar next Monday, next week. We're going to talk more about this and understanding how to read gaps and trends. And if you're interested in signing up for that, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com, and I'll send you the information. QQQs are higher here today. 
If it pushes up over the high here at 12 o'clock or into the next 15, 20 minutes, it's good and could even fall through the dream target today. I think that has to happen early for to get to that number of 9150-ish today. But if the market comes back in here at lunchtime, retest the low, could still make it over the high and get to 9120, 25-ish today. Uh, low odds the market closes with any significant uh, red bar today. I think it's going to be green. I think it's going to be a small to medium green. And if it comes down and breaks the low, the red of the coloring of the red will still be a teeny weeny because this market is just very, very strong. Okay, so watch and see what it does here around 12 o'clock. And people are going to try to short this again, which is insanity. The market's higher. If you'd like more information on the next Golden Gap class, it's June 7th and 8th. Email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. Have a great day, everybody.